Hey guys, so uh, I want to check out the uh, Microsoft Arrow Launcher here for the Android platform. So any Android device here, you can download uh, the launcher from the Play Store and uh, you should be able to uh, replace your default launcher. I uh, just wanted to see here how it looks and see if it's worthwhile getting or not. Uh, it's uh, quite interesting how Microsoft is focusing so much on Android. Uh, you know, you think that uh, maybe it would put on something like Windows Phone on the Android platform. What you can see it looks very different here to uh, like what you'd get on Windows Phone with the uh, like the live tiles and things like that. Uh, you can see we do have the sorting of the apps here in a alphabetical kind of uh, way and the ability to search for things as well uh, such as your Tinder and uh, your WhatsApp so that is quite nice you can have a look at as well the widgets tab and you can see it's arranged a bit like uh, like Marshmallow now actually uh, vertically obviously so maybe a bit of a love it or hate it thing here but you can quickly go up to something else here which is quite nice uh, on that bar and if we have a look at uh, this other tab you can see we get something called people so uh, if you've got frequent contact contacts here they should uh, come up and uh, basically you should be able to select them quite quick which is nice uh, I think you can also access the phone quick as well from that screen so that is pretty useful uh, you can see uh, you get uh, like um, uh, your lollipop uh, marshmallow type of interface here with the uh, app draw icon. I don't know if you can change this maybe. Can you put more on? So you can put shortcuts on it seems. We have this uh, kind of compartment come up and you can see we do have access to uh, uh, quick settings as well such as your flashlight uh, which is nice and Bluetooth and I think you can edit this as well a little bit so you can uh, go to ar add arrow settings and then check for updates here in the store system settings that's more to do with the phone I think I think you can have some icon packs as well which is quite nice uh, you do have to put that on obviously let's see if there is any and does this work with the the arrow who knows mm, probably try that uh, later on but uh, you can definitely see here there seems to be some scope for customization as well you know it's not forcing you into the the uh, Microsoft uh, kind of feel here if you don't like it you can see you can put some feedback on there as well to improve it a little bit and you do have this recent area as well which is quite nice uh, so actually using the launcher here it seems to be quite fast you know some launchers do tend to be uh, quicker than others uh, you know like your Nova launcher very fast to go back and forth into things and this one seems to be quite good as well although it doesn't seem to be following the uh, marshmallow convention like uh, you still get your uh, like uh, your opening animation a little bit uh, like uh, how it was before Lollipop because Lollipop like kind of came up uh, this is more like a Kit Kat kind of opening uh, so that might take some getting used to and I think you can still see we do have the same multitasking here which is very nice and for those of you who use your note you can see you can still get access to the S Pen functionality so that seems to be still working and you can see that is good if you do have a note phone here and sometimes I can write on the screen here and sometimes it won't let me I'm not sure if it's to do with the launcher or not Uh, so you can still write on the screen here without turning it on, which is very nice. So you don't seem to be uh, missing anything here when it comes to this launcher. 
and uh, do you have any different wallpapers so we do have some new wallpapers here very nice so you can see we can put this one on and have a look at it and you can also have something called a Bing wallpaper as well which I'm guessing probably brings through like news for your like Bing feed uh, so that could be quite interesting let's go back again so where is that uh, I'm getting lost now there we go uh, so you can see you get the Bing here so it downloads it for you and it puts it on so automatically it's very nice so yeah it's definitely worth checking out here you know if you've got an Android device you want to try something new here you do get quite a lot of nice wallpapers as well that you can put on and uh, yeah uh, so I just wanted to check this out you know I think it's quite a nice uh, wallpaper uh, sorry launcher here uh, for your Android device and I hope you uh, found it informative if you do uh, want to check it out so yeah, just a quick video here, hope you did enjoy and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.